Uh, my name is Swami Dhyan Sumeri. I'm a world traveler. I've been traveling for 45 years. I've traveled in many cultures, lived in many lands. And now I'm here in Portugal. Yep. I was born in London, downtown, yeah. in 1951. It was a horrible place. Most of the adults there were psychologically damaged from the two wars that had just happened. So they had no room for kids. There was very little love on the streets. Most people were very uh, mm, preoccupied. Because they'd been to a war, they'd won a war, and now they had to pay for it. And the war was actually not their doing. It was actually a created thing. Growing up, my uncles told me never to believe the government. And from there, I looked into things and realized, yeah, the government creates war. That's who creates it. I'm not creating it. You're not creating it. The government creates it. They get in little rooms and they go, oh, let's make a war. Why did they do that? Because they're unconscious. One of those episodes was when I was in history class. I asked my teacher, so I understand here that we have kings and queens. So what am I in this game that you've got going on? And the teacher said, well, you're just a peasant. And from that moment, I realized I didn't need history anymore. And then I realized also to become a king and queen, you have to kill everybody who says, you're not a king or queen. And I wasn't going to go that direction. So I became a peasant. And actually, I'm free because of that. What we think is consciousness is actually conditioned. In order to become conscious, you need to start meditating. It's the only possible way. Without meditation, consciousness is not going to arise. The mind itself needs to subside, it needs to turn off. You can live without the mind. The mind that you have are just thoughts. Those thoughts are not even yours. So you think, oh, I have to get a job. That's not your thought. That's been implanted in you. Oh, I have to have a new car. That's not your thought. That's been implanted in you. If you lived like this in nature, without anyone telling you anything, you think you'd think you'd, oh, I want a new car. Would that ever arise? No. If you lived in nature with people who actually loved you, with people who cared about you, you think you'd want a nice new suit? No, it would never arise. That all arises through the educational system. I was about 23. I was in a situation in a certain country, which you won't mention, And I realized that the only way to go forward into life was to become an evil person. That I had to manipulate, control, maybe steal, maybe hurt other people. And I realized in that moment, I couldn't do that. In order to go forward, I couldn't do that. And so I picked myself up, and there was a huge forest in front of me, and I walked straight in to that forest determined never to come out. I was done. Nature would take care. That's how I felt. And it did. Nature took care. I actually met people who were living in that forest, who were of heart, who actually didn't want to hurt anybody. They just wanted to have fun. And we had fun. And none of us had a job. But somehow we managed. We had a little food. We had music. We had each other. I was there for maybe five years. Well, the, Europe made a really great decision when it joined together. I know people are saying, oh, we shouldn't have joined together, we should have all kept separate, but this is the problem. We're not separate. We are one. We are human beings. And to say, oh, this is this country, oh, and this is that country, is a great idea. This is what's been perpetuating wars. I'm German, I'm going to fight the English. 
I'm the English, I'm going to fight the Spanish. I'm Portuguese, I'm going to fight. It's a crazy thing. There'll be no one here. As I said before, your resources will run out. At that point, you'll be killing each other just to stay alive. You'll stay unconscious, which is the animal world. If you look at the animal world, they live in, they live in three phases. They live in food, they live in sex, and they live, live in survival. So man will only move to that if they don't become conscious this year. It will happen this year. This is, your, this is the choice. And you are the people. No one else is going to do this. There's no point in putting it off for generations and generations. It ain't going to happen. This year, worldwide, everyone knows that. There are great movements happening. You don't hear about them here in Portugal too much. But there are great movements happening. Governments are afraid. They're afraid that you'll change their way. You're afraid that you're that what will happen is that they won't be rich. They won't. That's right. Everyone will be the same. We all deserve to be the same. We're no different. The fact that I sweep the streets, that you work in a bank, what's the difference? I'm, uh, I don't have a job and I'll never retire. There isn't time to retire, there's only time to live. As for jobs, well, jobs come, jobs go. Most of the time, I'm just hanging out.